Alrighty, so I have a new way of doing construction updates, and I think you guys are going to really like it. It's going to be packed with information. Um, it's going to have freeze frames, and it's going to have some renderings I drop of everything I know and up-to-date information on the project when the update arises. So over at Moosehorn Falls, Project Moosehorn, um, they are adding an extension to the wave pool building, probably for higher capacity, something to do with Moosehorn. Don't know fully what they would be using that for. But over at uh, Moosehorn, Project Moosehorn, um, we have 10 caissons completed, um, 19 to 20 caissons left to drill, and two to three weeks remaining on the project. The company doing the footings for Moosehorn is the same that did the footings for Yukon Striker. Um, and if you saw, the orange markings on Moosehorn were the current completed um, footings. So that's awesome. Uh, Moosehorn Falls... Uh, pieces have been arriving non-stop so as you can see in the footage right here um, in the parking lot there is a lot of pieces that have arrived they've been assembling a lot of them um, to be honest even when I flew today on Good Friday they were working on building these pieces so that tells you a lot because that's really expensive um, on such a holiday so two people as you see here the same two people working and building pieces on Good Friday as well so they are hard at work um, to get this project up and going. Again, it should be completed in about two to three weeks. Um, some hydro vacuum going on here to access whatever, whether it's to do with electrical for backlot or Mindbuster or electrical or water to do with Moosehorn, um, work was going on here. They are also rebuilding the service road over to the back end of Moosehorn Falls. So that's what the excavation going on here is. So um, that's obviously an assumption, but a, a service road for Moosehorn Falls. I know there's a current one that takes you over, but it misses it with that giant hill that Moosehorn sits on. So this one's going to access it. I can see them building a ramp. But yeah, as you can see here, here's some close shots of the caissons and footings for Moosehorn Falls. As you can see, there's about 19 to 20 cages left um, to be installed. So um outside of that there is a new construction trailer for this project out in the water park as you can see right there so there's just construction trailers everywhere at canada's wonderland including the parking lot um but yeah uh nothing really um to update nothing exciting just the support structure some slide pieces have been arriving um so if you look closely there's some attachment pieces that go in between the slide over here um as you can see they have installed the electrical uh, for the new fast lane system. So that's really cool. Uh, lots of work going on with that. Um, I feel like they're slightly behind, but I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. But yeah, those are the, that's the electrical for the scanners, for your wristbands, for fast lane. Um, it is foolproof this year. Just a warning. It is foolproof. It picture does pop up and a day of purchase does pop up. Um, so for those of you that were going to use someone else's all season fast lane, um, you are probably going to get caught <laughs> just a heads up outside of that over here at tunnel number one in quotations ride tunnel um, they are installing the roof hard at work over that and if you look really closely you can see the curb also in the wood framing um, being installed on top of the tunnel it is the same level as the previous tunnel so no height was added um, so that's just some important information but some structural um, width has been added to the side tunnel walls um also guardians trains are back on the track and the the track attachment piece there the turn has been reinstalled so that's interesting obviously no testing has taken place but there is currently no announced delays with training of guardians so i assume they have plans to have that wrapped up over in the um this side of the park so i'm labeling everything i'm calling this side project 2025 side um, extreme skyfly removed for future attraction old maintenance tunnels strongly reinforced with thicker cement and steel pile driven for further reinforcement green line represents a hydraulic line that was hydro vac to be exposed and old time photo and haunt store being measured for possible repaint retheme or future redesign as well as backlot um, receiving a major upgrade um, in terms of its capacity with a um, Lazy Bear Lodge type of system being installed and some theming upgrades. Whether that ends up being the old Ginza Gardens or not, still confused by that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I'm really excited to honestly see that because that's a major restaurant in the park. So for it to receive upgrades, amazing. Um, but yeah, here's a better shot of the new curb that aligns with the old curb. 
over in the Project Elpin section of the park. I am just giving these sides separate names. It doesn't mean they're not correlated. Don't worry, I'm not suggesting that in these names, but I just want to talk about it. So as you can see, Electrical is being upgraded at Thunder Run's old station, or for those that better want to hear it, the Multi-Faith Prayer Room. Um, Electrical has been reconnected to Elpin Cheesery and more located near Tunnel 3, and then it is being reguided to Thunder Run's old station, where they're going to hook it up. So as you can see, they started burying the line once they connected it to whatever electrical grid was over there. Um, and if you look over at the Thunder Run side, I'm getting a little brilliant because this is zoomed, zoomed, zoomed in. But um, as you can see, it's not connected to anything on this end, but at the other end, it is. So um, it is headed towards Thunder Run's old station and it headed over to the third tunnel. Over at tunnel number two, the maintenance tunnel, we're going to call this one. Um, they are getting ready to do the roof part of this section. Um, so again, if you look at my um, rendering I'm going to have on the screen soon, it is 100% shipping and receiving. Um, and yeah, it's got a little maintenance cutout and everything. The Sprite basketball game is still here to stay. There's Tiny Tom's new building right there. Um, Grab and Go is here to stay from what I understand as well. That's that. Um, and Thunder Run's new exit is looking amazing. Love it. I actually think it's so much better. Um, but again, nothing's been done to tunnel number three. And I want to keep that because they've only laid a really thin gravel. So equipment doesn't slip inside coming in and out of that tunnel. That's all that gravel's for. So it's really interesting that they did such a big cutout and they're going to have a maintenance tunnel um, ready to go. So whether they um, just cover this up after the maintenance tunnel is ready to go, that'll be telling. It'll be like, okay, that's not for the ride. Or if they just fence it off and they keep this, then um, it's obviously for whatever ride or attraction is going to be in the mountain. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting project, Elpin, because it looks like it could possibly connect to Project 2025, but there are also signs that maybe it won't. But again, there is a clear path from Extreme Skyflyer all the way over to here. So we are lumping it in with our project 2025 predictions. There were a lot of building removals. Um, a lot of holes in the tunnel are located over here. And the tunnel number three does kind of align with tunnel number one if they needed it to with some turns. So over in project Elpin, we have maintenance tunnel nearly complete next to Vortex. Tunnel three remains open and untouched. Thunder Run's exit nearing completion. An electrical station is being set up at Thunder Run's old station and guided towards Tunnel 3. Thunder Run's old station demolished and drink stand demolished and Tiny Tom's demolished. Tiny Tom's' new location um, next to Grab and Go and the drink stand's new location right next to um, Clockworks. I've marked it all on the map for you guys to give you a really good understanding and I've whipped up a really detailed map for you guys. Um, I'm really trying hard to make these construction updates super detailed and packed with information so that you have the understanding that I have and you can see what's in my head. So this is what these renderings will do. And every update I do, if there's uh, worthwhile enough information to draw more on the map, I will. Um, so as you see, even behind the Coca-Cola station, there's a new electrical and water main installed back there that goes to the restaurant um, in Medfair. Um, so yeah, by the end of the day yesterday when I flew, uh, they had already covered the electrical and um, I think there's one water line or if it's another line, it's whatever. It could be, um, what do you call it? Communications. Um, so they covered that. Uh, Dragonfire's uh, trains are on the track. Work is going on with... Um, the ride just slipped my mind because I record these in the moment. Wild Beast was testing earlier. Leviathan's not quite ready. It only has... One and a half or two trains on the track, not quite sure. Reinstalling the bats um, parts that were removed for maintenance. So the guide, um, the chain for the return um, was being reinstalled. And yeah, no work going on with the fly yet. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Um, Antique Cars is back on the tracks. That was an important thing we were talking about before. And um, obviously, I talked about Guardian being back on the tracks. This is where it gets juicy. So the hydro vacuum was started to occur on um, Extreme Sky Flyers point of land. I know I called it Extreme Skyrider in a previous video. That was funny. I love you guys calling me out on that. 
Um, so they started hydro vacing that. Um, and I'm going to talk about that a little further, but, um, essentially front gate work is well on its way. Again, it looks like not much is done, but all the final touches are being added. Um, the fence is being completed and stained. If you look closely down there, you can see that love the staining work. I love the color and I love the new color scheme they're building on front gate. I really hope it doesn't end up being Leviathan colors. I don't know if that Brown is permanent or if that's the under layer. Um, but yeah, so here, right here, there are hydro vacuuming. Um, a hydraulic line. So that's a hydraulic line that would go out towards, there's a guy with blueprints down there, by the way. So that's interesting. Um, that is either Peter or the head of maintenance um, with the blueprints. Um, this is where I think the station is going to be for the new attraction. Again, that is, is an assumption, but there's a lot of evidence that points towards that. But this hydraulic line ran straight towards the lifts um, that were there at Extreme Sky Flyer. So it aligns with what we think it is. And obviously, hydro vacuuming, they didn't want to damage the line, but they exposed the line. So that is all the information we have on that so far. So stay tuned for more. Um, this was probably one of my most packed information construction updates. Tell me if you guys appreciate all the work that I put into those renderings. And if you want to see those continue, comment down below that. Thank you so much for watching um, and have a good one, guys. Bye.